so here we are to go oh my god the boat's right there anyway here we are to go to the Elizabeth Dane which is going to be a shit show let me tell you uh, and look Mercurio's here anyway in anticipation of the train wreck that's going to be pres er, hit by a plane crash and then catch on fire and several children will end up dying because it's how horrible it is it's going to be the Hindenburg 5.0 um, in anticipation of that, let me tell you, if an IPA says it tastes like pine, believe it, it's not a good taste. What's up, Mercurio? What's up? Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Well, he's looking a lot better. You look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. You know, I wish, I just wish this game would get like a remaster. So all the audio is at the same level. Because this is, that, that's my, Aside from the combat, that's my other criticism for this game. I might need some equipment for this little trip. I have no money. But let's take a look. I guess I could sell again if I'm desperate enough. I bought Blue Blood Pack. It's supposed to be good stuff. I only could afford two of them and then one of the regular. He sells ammo. Of which I don't need. How much do I have? I have $72. I can't afford it. Actually, I could, but I'm not gonna buy it because there's no point in that. Anything I can do for you tonight? Uh, I need some info. Concerning. Uh. Weapons. Specifically. A tactical nuke. I need that tactical nuke. Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. Um. I had some other questions. Concerning Places? Specifically? Downtown in LA? Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines is people, LaCroix people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. I can barely hear you, dude. Okay, you know what? We're done. We're done. But thank you. I appreciate it. I'll never forget this night. You... You ought. Yeah, it sucks, bro. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, um... Make some... Oh, God. It's just... Make a lot of mistakes. I can't sneak. I also realized I've been playing this character all wrong. I've been trying to play this character like he's... A Bruja, or Gangrel, or even a Nosferatu. And he's not. He's... Shit. He's, uh... Yo, Pally, over here. Oh, gods. <laughs> hey, Pally. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez, what kind of woods team don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something? I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Uh, enough. We need to do this fast if we don't want to get caught. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out. 
okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Ah, uh, I've already forgotten. Move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I guess we go down these stairs and... Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? Huh. Well, there was that guard over there. Let's go this way. I don't know if this is the right way to go, but we're going this way. I hope we don't have to murder a bunch of police officers. Gods, why? But we're gonna have to, I have a feeling. Ooh, three. A difficulty of three. Records room. We're gonna save. Mostly because I don't know if this lock picking is gonna work. I need to invest more to the lock picking. Uh, six. Uh, we need, we need, we need, we need blood buff. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Ship manifest. All right. Got that. We got this. Oh, oh, we could put points into, um, to that one thing. Let's hold off on that. Let's hold off on that and save. That seems like a good spot to save. Let's go up the stairs. Or do we go out here? Let's close that and go up the stairs. <laughs> ah. Okay. Well, we're here where we're supposed to be. There's someone nearby. Hack. Oh. Uh, enter. Reports. Weather. Okay, status. Uh-huh. Log. Let's hack it. No, wait. Lighthouse. Log. Lighthouse. I typed it in. Log. Lighthouse. Password is required to enter the sub... Control. Oh, now it's Lighthouse. Password accepted. Unlock records? Oh, I already unlocked records. Uh, I mean, I could do that stuff, but I don't know if it's going to be a good idea. But let's go out here and try sneaking around. We can't. We can't go out. All right. Why? Why are you doing this to me, door? Shit, there's a bunch of them right there. No, let me in. Okay. Um goddamn doors. Go this way. Execute order 66. Who saw us? Stop! 
Nope. <laughs> we, we're so bad at sneaking. Brain wipe. That's what we'll do. We'll brain wipe these people. Hey, can we activate this? No. Turn that on? No. Okay. We'll try brain wiping him and see how that goes. Can I get... No, I can't go there. There. Okay. Down this way. I know it might be cheesing it, loading a saved game, but we need it. We need it. Do I hit E? Just execute him that, oh yes. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Let's save this one. Keep one for the beach. It's a little hard to keep track of. Well, <laughs> awesome. Let's see how this goes. Wow, never mind. We'll just hang out in that corner and see, see if that goes better. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Hmm. Please! God damn it! I need to be quicker. I need to be so much quicker. He's gonna come around the corner. And I'm just gonna have to mash... E. Hmm. Who's there? Who's there? Hmm. 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 Get around behind him! Excellent. You know what? How is anyone gonna know if they can't find the body? <laughs> I'm so glad bodies just disappear in this game. Oh my god, why does brain wipe take up so much? What else could we get? Sleep? The target will fall asleep for about 20 seconds or longer. Hmm. We could do that. We could get. Blood theft. In which case, a blood project, blood strike, a blood, or er, a projectile will strike your victim. If the victim lives, blood shot will return with stolen blood from your victim. So tempting. So, who wants to get brain wiped? Oh, he's up there. He's up there. Why is he up there? All right. All right. Well, we know he's up there for some weird reason. Who's there? Hmm. Mm. Oh, no. Damn it. I just wanted to I just wanted to sneak up behind him. I think we might have to use that all those points for sleep. Because, god damn it. Okay. We did it! Combat, but that's fine. Damn it, there's
and execute this one. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, uh, okay. It's okay, just ignore us. We're crouched. Just ignore the crouched one. We saw nothing. I know this might be a bad idea trying to save it right here. Um, let's use this. Give us a little bit, a little bit to work with. Holy gods, I think we got really lucky. God damn it. We have to try to sneak back through. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them. Why? Why? I don't know how to proceed. To be honest, I don't know how to do this. Aside from murder a bunch of police officers. I mean, sure, they're LAPD, but still. We have everything we need. So we explored the crime scene. We just gotta... Get, you have successfully completed your tasks. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come here. <laughs> All right. Holy gods. We only had to kill a few of them. I wish I could just peek around the corner. But that's okay. We're we're doing pretty good. We only had to save scum a few parts, but that's, you know what? It's unavoidable. Unavoidable. Especially in situations like this. Where we don't have much sneaking. I think we killed like four, maybe? Maybe five? I don't know, but that one up there, I just... Oh. It's okay. You know why it's okay? Because we succeeded. And that's what counts in this vampiric world. We can't even go up there. Why? Okay, well, we're out. Goddamn doors. Can I go this way? Yes, this is the way to go. No, this is not the way to go. I'm turned around. Okay, up these stairs. Through this door. There's no guy over there. Did we execute him? No, because he's up there. Okay, we're gonna save, because we're so close. He's all the way over there. That's fine. And come on. Come on. Oh, we just fall into it. Awesome. You know what? That wasn't as it's fucking right. mayhem, bro. Mayhem, bro. It's mayhem, bro. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect it to go so well. I thought it was gonna be horrible because we don't have obfuscation or points into sneaking, but it went a lot better than I thought it would. Only a few officers died. I mean, it was unavoidable. They, they had to die for a good cause because we're vampires. Um, the only downside is we didn't drain anyone. 
We're, we're that kind of vampire, you know that? We're, we're sad that we didn't drain anyone. So, we're gonna check out the side of the club. Oh, I just want to bite this little morsel right here. Just, just bite into her. But that's okay. We'll go inside and hit up the blood dolls. And then I think after we turn in this quest, he'll yell at us for killing people. But then we get an apartment, an apartment in uh, that one skyline apartment. So you know, it's okay. It'll be okay. And we're secretly aligned with the uh, the Anarchs, and uh, hey, you. It's a long yeah. time until sunrise. Want to come play with me? Normally, she talks about dolls, and it kind of really weirds me out. But I'm glad she just said that. It's almost like she knows, but she enjoys being bitten on the neck and stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the whole the whole age play thing with her is really weird to me. Not that I am judging others who are into age play. It's not my thing. Lovely evening. Yes, thank you. That is so much better of a greeting than what's the haps, bro. Where to? I hate people who ask a question as a greeting. Like, how's it going? I don't... I, uh, it's a... Uh, and then I ask, I answer it as a question and it's just... Oh, what? I just saw her. I forgot about that. Let's see how this plays out. Hey, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night because I just wanted to. I'm in your debt. Oh, you I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Ugh. I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. Oh, God. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? The great, great, great uh, descendant of uh, Edgar Allan Poe, perhaps. And yes, you do us uh, OS a blood debt. You are you are ghoul, after all. Um, that's, that's hard to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here, I, I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Not gonna lie. If I was a vampire, <laughs> I would have a whole... whole group of ghouls. Good thing vampires are not real. Very, very good thing. Uh, of course, Heather. I would love for you to stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money. I'll get you things. Everything. I don't want to be... <sighs> important to you. Oh, gods. Okay, if Bloodlines 2 doesn't let you have a ghoul like this, it's going to be a black mark. It will be a black mark. And I am so thankful that it's being delayed. Because it's so close to Cyberpunk 20... 2077? Yes, I think that's what it is. Uh, um, um, wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Not to mention, we get to play dress up with her. Oh my god. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Ah, uh, I'm so glad normal people are not like this. Uh, my dear Heather, what did I ever do without you? I'll see you later. Gods, I hope people aren't like that. So devoted. I mean, aside from the whole give and take of a normal relationship. All right, let's just save, just to save. I don't know. Let me in! Just... What? Chunk. I think he calls himself Officer Chunk. I'm not trying to be rude to him or anything. Evening, Chief. 
you back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. Yeah, thin blue line. I'm sure he appreciates that you're here to protect him. See you, Chunk. Chunk is the most innocent person in this game, aside from Heather. Penthouse. Uh-oh. I've said all I need to for now. Well, there's the uh, regent of the Chantry. I don't know who those other two. And that's a Nosferatu. Fancily dressed Nosferatu. Funny that the one Nosferatu is the best dressed of them, aside from uh, Strauss. One of my people was monitoring the police radio. Very sloppy. I stated explicitly that you are not to kill any police officers. Their deaths attract attention, and we have to generate spin to attach the blame to natural causes. I'm losing my patience. What did you see on the ship? Everyone on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicated it was open from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in, the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Yeah, who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Um, certainly, is that all? Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian Primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Goodbye. Okay, well that was not enough to uh, secure an apartment for us in the Skyline Apartments. So... Not that we have anything else really to do aside from this main quest. Let's go check on the Anarchs and fill them in on what's happening. Because <laughs> uh, we're a spy. I don't know I went this way, I just... A little dense. I really hope that the Anarchs have something to say and that I'm not just wasting my time. Uh, well, we can my sell this, this ring right now. Check it out, check it out, step right up. I would like to sell this ring. Check oh it God, it's twenty dollars. Step right up. The economy in this game is so messed up. But I'm sure we could buy it for like a hundred dollars, right? Because that's how it works. We'll stop there just to see if he has anything to say. It's kind of funny how cozy the Camarilla and the Anarchs are. The Anarchs did really, really get their asses, asses kicked by the Quasian, so it's a little, not, not, not as surprising. Let's go speak to them. We'll talk to Damsel first. Heard anything? Uh, okay. Uh, Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. You're not doing anything else. Weren't you paying attention before? I don't repeat myself. 
Uh, shit. L.A. Uh, roll over, play ball, give up all we fought for, died for. Do you real times up? Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill. Let's talk to Jack. So I heard you and Nines had a run-in with the Sabbat, huh? And you let them go. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fun? Um. How come he keeps helping me? Well, well he was left sireless, too. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. How do you think the Sabbat found me? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the Prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? I think your beard isn't moving when you talk. You really think that's possible? Hey, it's just a theory, man, but who else is gonna be watching you so closely, knowing where you're going and all that? Um, why would LaCroix help the Sabbat? I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbat. I know he ain't. But he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street where the Sabbat would pick up on it. Uh, just chew on that. I guess I wouldn't put it past him. It's how the Camarilla works, kiddo. Trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. That's what I call dirty politics. Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. All right, but why me? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Um... How did nines make a difference? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Ventura were born in a boardroom. When nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Um, is LaCroix afraid of nines? I thought he was the boss. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a <the> boss. <laughs> That's rich. Uh, yeah, I think he's got that Napoleon thing going on. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Who is everyone? The free-living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. Does got a nice kick to it though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. I've got a few more sure questions. Thing, kiddo, fire away. Uh, ask something What's else. Your mind? Exit! Okay. Uh. T pose in there. Let's go see the Regent. Because we are Tremere after all, although we haven't submitted our blood to the Tremere Collective. In which case, if they wanted to, they could execute us using that blood. Uh, which is a standard procedure when a Tremere embraces a kind. Their blood gets submitted to the Chantry. I think that's how, in in the final nights, the Tremere de dealt with the Tremere anti-tribu that joined the Sabbat by using that blood that they had to execute them. So they weren't so much of a problem. Hello, Neonate. How can I... I've got a few of minutes course. to talk with me. A few questions. What is it? Uh, what do you know about the Ankar and Sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think is inside of it? I do not know. 
Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Like what? I will say no more. I'm out of here. All right. Well, that was insightful. I think this is the proper way to get out of here. Yes. Okay. Well. Uh, we'll go to Santa Monica and we'll check on Heather. That's going to be a treat. I bet you. Why is this van here? That is a very odd way to park. Very weird. Okay, to Santa Monica we go. Hello, person in the very same dress we've right. seen everywhere else. Okay, through here where that one Sabbat was waiting for us, but that's okay. We'll ignore that. It's just a fluke. And then he obfuscated himself. It's okay. The Sabbat are like trashed here. Unless you encounter La Zombra or La or uh, Zemisi. Look, we can already hear our our radio through the walls so many callers so oh look hello heather i'm so glad you're back i've been waiting here just like you asked your place is um nice yeah uh i didn't decorate it is there something i can do for you anything just ask there's something you should know before we go on. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? Thank you, Greg. Um, no, you survived because of my blood. I'm a vampire. You are bound to me. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a bleh, bleh, vampire, right? I'm afraid not. My blood commingles with your own. A term for you is ghoul. No. No, there's no such thing. You're... This isn't funny anymore. Don't worry, my sweet pet. I will protect you. I will make you feel incredible. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Yes, always know that I adore you. I share my blood with you, only you, dear Heather. What can I do to show my appreciation? Uh, I need money. Um, here, here, that's all I've got. Excellent. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Me? I am not so special, you know. I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late okay, because my well, good luck in the next election, so my parents died um car crash I didn't really have anyone special in my life until you came along how sad don't worry I'm here for you dearest Heather <laughs> uh how about your appearance change it okay yeah uh when I get back, I hope I'm in for a pleasant surprise. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I thought it was Marjorie. And I'm glad I slept with your sister. <laughs> what? That's an interesting uh, background radio chatter. Okay, let's see what she changed into. I hope she doesn't have bangs. Oh. Oh my. No glasses? Anything I can do for you? Put the glasses back on. <laughs> About your appearance, change it. Okay. Um. 
I like it dark and gothic. Is 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 goth still a thing nowadays? I don't know. I just know. Uh, I just fell in. Okay, don't go gothic if you're not prepared to uh, fall into the habit of wearing all black. Because I did that, and now trying to wear anything but black, I just I just feel weird. Like it's not me. Oh God, no! Anything I can do for you? Their appearance, okay. change it. Um. Uh, when I get back, I hope I'm in for. Uh, see that you have by the time I get back. Jeez, I feel bad for her now. That wasn't. I mean, yeah, 2004 gothic, sure. I can't speak beyond that because, yeah. I don't know. There was never, never much of a scene past a certain point. It all start getting blended into uh, punk and emo and alt. Alt culture, whatever. Anything I can do for you? Um, I feel famished. Share Please some of your blood with me. Take me inside of you. Okay, I've never had a woman say that to me. Hello, Greg. Up late, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Abort. I just wanted a taste. Okay. Thank you. Feel Greg. good, little ghoul. Ghoul. I'll try to get us a better place to stay in. Jeez. I mean, so ripe for abuse. Her parents died in a car crash and she's a fashion design student. I feel bad. Fortunately, it's a game. Alright. Where do we have to go? This mansion. Next time... We'll, well, we will go find this Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, in his mansion. Which, nothing bad will happen. It'll just be a pleasant little jaunt, right? Right?